Okay, hello. Um, today we're going to be talking about pivoting data sets. Um, it's a way we manipulate maybe some data sets that we find that we want to reshape, you know, sort of change the shape of the data set. And that'll make a lot more sense once we go over it. So first we're going to, you know, import the tidyverse. And then I make a data frame here. Again, the syntax here is kind of unimportant, but um, it's the results from a stat quiz from some, some subjects who are taking a stats quiz. So then we can view the data here, um, get the scores of a statistics, qu statistics quiz out of 100. Um, and that, you know, this is really great, but we have attempts here as columns and we want them, I want all of the values for the attempts to be in one column. I think that'll make, you know, some future analysis easier. So um, I'm gonna use a tidyverse command or function called pivot longer, um, which is going to take this, what this is what we would call a wide data set um, because we have individual sort of Another way to think of attempts is um, oftentimes you'll see year. So pretend that subject is country, you know, sex doesn't really matter that much, but, um, and then imagine these are different years for some variables, right? And we want all of the variables to be, all of the values for this variable to be under one column, but with a year variable delineating what year for what country right so we do this using pivot longer so first you know first input we have the data set um, then we specify the columns that we want to make longer right so columns attempt one attempt two and attempt three we want those ones to be one column so that's what we put in the columns parameter and then we set the names to so then we're naming that new column pretty much and we make that a meaningful name, so we'll, we'll call it attempt, right? So we run that and we view that. And now we see that, you know, I have repeated values for each of the names, right? Every name ha now occurs three times for every attempt. And then we have a new attempt column that has attempt one, attempt two, and attempt three, right? From before, attempt one, attempt two, and attempt three with the correct values in a new value column. And we can actually set the name to, of that column, but um, we won't go over that right now. Value is a good enough name for us right now. Um, you can set the name. Well, and you can also, you know, if you really wanted to uh, use the mutate function for that, but um, we won't do that right now. Um, you can rename that. Or uh, there's a rename function in, in dplyr as well, but unimportant right now. Um, what's important is we see now that there are three names, you know, three attempts. The sex, which I put in just to show this bit, is it stays the same for each one. It's not just the name that stays the same. It's it's everything else that's specific. So if we had this, you know, was the U.S. and then we had the population, the population is going to stay the same in each row. Um, if we had a population uh, column before. Um, so I'm hoping that makes sense. Um, yeah, so we viewed that. Um, now we're gonna take a look at a different um, little data set that I made here. And it's a legal quiz um, with you know the same subjects but different scores. Um, so we look at, you know, it's the same sort of thing, except it kind of is starting from where we had it before with the long, so this is what we would call long data, right? And I, and I called it long stats data, the one that we changed. Um, so we've got this legal quiz in a long form and we want to make it, and in this exercise, we're gonna make it wide because maybe we wanna see, we wanna analyze each individual attempt for the legal score. Um, so we would do that with pivot wider, not to be confused with pivot longer, right? So they're very clearly named. And that's sort of what the tidyverse people want you to, how you want, how they want you to think about it is they want you to think about, if we go back to the stats example, this is wide data where each sort of attempt or year or, you know, whatever variable is repeated like that for an individual subject. Um, 
this is wide data and then we see this as long data where the iterations are in their own individual rows rather than than their own individual columns um, yeah so then we look at so then when we look at pivot wider we put in the data again right legal quiz just like we did up here um, we're going to make new columns in the wider command so we need to find where we're going to take the names from. So we need to tell R where we're going to take the names from. And if we look at the legal quiz, we're wanting to make columns for the attempts, right? So we're going to take the names from the attempt column. So, the, so we put in attempt there. That's the column that we want to take the values from, or that we want to take the names from. We take the values or the new variable that, you know, like here, that are going to occupy those new columns that we're going to make using the names from the attempt. We're going to use the scores column. So scores here for values from. So then we run that. And then if we view this, it looks very similar to the original stats data that we started out with, the stats quiz data. So we've turned this long data into a wide data set. Um, so yeah, that's kind of all there is to that. Um, it can be really confusing, kind of shaping and thinking about shaping. Um, so yeah, um, today is Tuesday. Um, I'm making this video very late on, but tomorrow for class, I'll be uh, just kind of taking questions about the homework assignment that I'm going to be putting out today. Uh, and we're going to kind of be able to, you know, sort of bounce questions and work together on it. So I think that would be really valuable because sort of talking through this stuff is really valuable. So yeah so yeah that's it um i'm gonna put this code up on the canvas um email me with any questions please